All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is GSA Super Mario Maker 2. It's the finals, and we have got a really exciting matchup for you. Little Curbs versus Dansta. In case you don't know how this is going to go, I'll lay the rules down for you real quick. Expert, they can play as many levels as they want. They can skip as often as they want, but they are trying to get the, uh, the most clears. More clears wins it. If they game over, they will lose a point, and we are playing best of five, so three... Three, mat, three wins to get it. And we are just about ready to get started. We got 15 minutes on the clock. I am GlitchCat7. I will be taking you through this. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, we're just ready to go. Little Curbs and Dance, they're both really, really solid players. And so expect to see some very cool moves here. All right, we are off. And we are ready to get started. So these players are going to be getting different levels. They have, it's not the same seed. And they're going to be looking for something that they can clear relatively quickly. Little Curb skipping his and Dance to deciding to stick with their level. They can skip as much as they want, like I said. Uh, and they're trying to find something they can do quickly. So Dance to working with these on-off switches right now. There's a shell up there that keeps switching them back and forth. So he's going to have to be careful. Not a super tough level, but... Uh, He's going to have to watch his jumps because there are spikes down there. And Little Curbs is in another on-off level right now. This is a particular trick that I'm sure Curbs knows. You have to hit the on-off block, and there's the dotted line block below it. That block is going to close, and then right as you're kind of moving up to the right corner of that, he got it. Hey, there you go. I told you he knew it. Uh, you get ejected from the block, and you can get a jump. Dansa and Little Curbs, both with the on-off Switch skills, getting their first clear one-to-one. -one. This match right now is pre-recorded, but it has never been seen before, so we don't know what's about to happen, and neither do I. Dance and Little Curbs synced up right now, going into their next level. Little Curbs needs seven P-switches, and Dance to... I don't know what he has to do. And they are pausing at the beginning to check the world record. If the world record turns out to be three or four minutes, that might inform their decision to skip a particular level. Little Curbs choosing to commit to this and dance to looking for something else. Little Curbs getting that P-switch jump. You can jump right off a P-switch as it's getting crushed. It's a tricky move, but highly skilled players know it and use it well. Little Curbs making a quick sort of wall jump section and dance to getting into the castle. Ooh, some precision jumps. Watch out. Oh, no, he doesn't even have to go. Oh, yeah, he does. Dance has to go on. Yeah, watching out for these spikes. The hitbox of those spikes is enormous. So Dance wants to be very careful right now using those air stalls to modify his position in the air. Ooh, rough death for Dansta. There was a Povado fireball in that pipe. Got to be careful with pipes in Mario Maker because you never know. Any any seemingly innocent pipe could could hold disaster within it. Little Curb still trying for uh, still trying for this level of his. He has to do, he has to hit seven P switches, and it's kind of a speed run level this should be a uh, little curbs knows how to do these new soup sort of speed runs knows how to read the indication so he might be feeling pretty confident in his ability to get out of this one alive dance to try and for his section again just has to watch out for those precision jumps little curbs hitting the switches he's got the clear condition now what's he gonna do watching out for that shell to bounce back at him he's got to be careful dance to making good moves into that pipe he's seen this section already Oh, Little Curbs, no! Oh, he saw that he had to spin jump onto the Piranha Plants, but he didn't get the distance. But he totally saw the end there. And it looks like he's going to try again. Now, this is... Uh, Little Curbs tends to be very liberal with the skips. So if he's committing to this, you can be sure he knows what's up. And he's going to have to know what's up, because Dance to navigating through that tough section at the end and getting his second clear. Two clears to one now in favor of Dance Little Curbs still sticking with this level. I don't know if he's maybe consciously decided to change his strats up a little bit, but in uh, in in earlier matches, we've seen Little Curbs skipping a lot, trying to find something very quick and very easy. Danston now working through a new soup speed run of his own. These levels tend to have indication that's pretty standardized, and if you've played a lot of these new soup speed runs, you can 
generally read the flow of it pretty well. There's Dance the reading that triple jump setup. And yeah, Dance the moving through this no problem. Curbs also getting close to the end. And Dance the using that tech to get um get through those note blocks that were kind of positioned caddy corner to each other. You can kind of crouch, hit those note blocks and slide right through. Dance the bonked a little bit, but uh, he's still going strong. And little curbs getting a clear. Oh, there it is for Dance the. He just needs to ground pound. And yeah, he's got it with the tricky damage boost through the saw. Dancer with a very fast blind read that really helped him out there. Two, I'm sorry, three clears now. Three to two. Dance is still up by one. Little Curbs might want to be looking for something quick, and he's got a 40 second level right now. Super Mario World style, and he needs to grab three red coins. You can see how many coins you need in the upper right part there. The little dot indicators will show you. Dance to checking his level now. Ooh, little curbs with that really scary. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know if he was gonna die. Sliding, butt sliding right under that slope, uh, getting around that saw. Curbs bringing a shell because it might help him cheese or do something. Oh no! How could he have known? How could he have known that there was a spike down there? It's really tough with those blind drops. And Dancer with some really great fortune right now. Looks like he's got another new soup speedrun style level. That seems to be a bit of a specialty here today. <laughs> nice floating pipe there. And that's a checkpoint for Dancer. That's really going to help out as Little Curbs remembers what the heck he had to do. Grabs that final coin. He's into the next section, but no checkpoint. So he has to be very careful because if he dies here... He will have to do that all over again. Dance to taking a death. What's he thinking? Is he maybe going to try to cheese going in and out of these sections? Dance to might be looking for something sneaky or some kind of way to, way to break this a little bit. Little Curbs picking up the checkpoint to save his progress. That's going to really help out. Now, Dance to, what's he got to do? That P-Switch door did not take him where he wanted it to take him. Hopefully this one is the correct one. He's got it. As Little Curbs dies trying to get up those blue falling platforms. Dance to coming out with a commanding lead right now up by two clears. Little Curbs has really been making a lot of commitments. Really sticking with these levels and uh, I gotta wonder if, if that's intentional uh, kind of an intentional strat change on Curbs part or what. Because we have not seen him commit as much. Also Curbs going down in lives. Dance the with 14 lives. Curbs with seven right now. And that might affect them later because a game over would subtract one clear from their total. And we've seen that massively affect matches in the past. Little Curbs having a really tough time getting up that uh, those blue falling platforms and Dance the navigating this messy looking 3D world level. Didn't get in the box. Oh, that's a skip. Yeah, who knows what other kinds of crazy traps lie in wait for Dansta in that level. Curb's getting a cape now. Two capes. He doesn't he only needs one though. Yeah, I'd go for the flyover too if I were him. Dansta with a good lead right now, looking for a, a quick and easy level. And there we go. There's a clear for Curbs. This could be a chance for Curbs to catch up. We've got seven minutes left in the round. Curbs is only down by one and he picked up some one ups from that clear. Dance to getting kind of hung up, looking for something, something short, something easy, something not, not messy. Selecting a level, selecting what to play, what to commit to is a big part of the meta strategy here. They can skip as much as they want, but that does cost time. And with only 15 minutes on the clock, you have to, you have to make some choices. You're going to make some hard, hard decisions. Dance to going with his on-off switch level. Looks like he's, what's he doing? Racing that Goomba, getting up on that Thwomp. He needs some coins. Three at least. Yeah, can't get in that door. He needs all three. All three red coins to get the key. They can skip whenever they want. And sometimes skipping right before you die is actually a valuable trick. Uh, the Goomba, the Goomba had the key for Dance to. Curb's trying to skip and catch up with something good. Dance the gets in the door, but what is on the other side? Oh, it's a uh, oh the springs. Oh jeez. Ah, uh, now Dance the gets this level now. Yep, there's the key. He want yep he wants to get the coins and the key from the enemy. And now Little Curbs is stuck in an auto scroller. This might be good for him because the level is safe. 
but it might be slow also. There's not a lot of enemies around, but who knows? Dying on an auto scroll would be pretty tragic. It would cost a lot of time. And now Dansta seems to be in a new part. He loses his... Oh, no! He had it all going for him. That was a rough one. Dansta loses his spiny shelmet and has to go back and do all these red coin rooms again. Will he commit to that? He looks like he is. And Curbs gets to the end of the auto scroll. Good decision to stick with that. It, uh, it was a short level. So it did cost him some time with the forced movement, but it was very safe. And Little Curbs tying Dansta now. So we'll see if we can get a come from behind victory here. They're now tied four to four. Although Dansta does have more knowledge on his level right now. If he can just remember not to not to get bodied like that. Curbs doing some slides. Sliding with your butt is a pretty fast way to travel and it makes you move quickly in the air. Little Cur Oh no, how could he have known? Little Curbs getting trolled by some off-screen stuff and Dansta Still having trouble with that giant thwomp section. But choosing to commit, maybe not a bad idea with only four minutes to go. It's sometimes better better the uh, better the tough level that you know. So Curbs now needs to slide under that little gap, and he's got to land in that one tile square. So many blind falls, you know. That, that's a really tricky thing with level design. When you're making a level, you want to avoid putting the player into a situation where they have to just jump freely into the air and not be able to see where they're going to land. You're going to have some situations like what happened to Curbs there where just how could they have possibly known? Dying to learn is always rough and especially rough with GSA matches. Dance though, what you going to do? He chooses to skip. That's unfortunate because he put a lot of time into that level. And he was maybe close. And there's the clear for Curbs. Wow, getting through that butt slide level. So Curbs pulling ahead now. Five clears to four. Uh, oven castle. <laughs> I like that. These players are going to have to clear as many levels as they can. They've got 15 minutes on the timer. And they can skip as much as they want, but they don't want a game over. Most clears wins, and we're going to play gonna play at least uh, five matches. Dancing, moving across these red Koopas now. Racking up a lot of one-ups. Oh, nice bounce combo. Oh, but look out. He's got this. Oh, there's a spiny up there. What's he going to do? Oh, that was clever. Nice move for Dansta. There was a spiny stacked on top of those red Koopas, and he chucked the shell up in the air so it would kill that whole stack of them so he could make his way over. Clever. Clever thinking in the moment. And Dansta ties it up again 5-5 five to five, and gets some extra lives. If the players were to game over, uh, they would lose one of their clears. If you have five clears, you game over. Now you got four. And we've seen that greatly affect matches before. So you want to kind of watch out for your lives. And uh, it, it all, all in all, it, it really makes the meta very interesting. What do you skip? Is it worth it to die on a level? Is it worth it to be safe and save your lives? Could you make it if you just had one or two more tries? You know, lots of things to factor in. And sometimes the levels can be... Very blind and very strange. Little Curbs looking for some cheese through these cannons right now. He fell off the platform, but he managed to get himself back up there. With all these cannonballs flying around, it's a perfect opportunity to get some cheese. And Little Curbs is thinking, yeah, Little Curbs is thinking he wants that cheese. Nice clear, pulling ahead six to five as Dansta navigates through this desert level. Looks like a pretty simple thing. He's going up. He's got some, got some grappling hooks and some bullets to deal with, but... Fairly simple platforming action here for Dansta. Looking to maybe try to do it in a slightly unintended way. Yeah, not going all the way over to the right and just kind of skipping. Oh, no! Dansta! Oh, gosh! Should have jumped. He knows what to do now. But Curbs getting a really quick clear on another short level. This is the Curbs that I remember from other matches. Not the Curbs that would commit to long red coin levels, but the Curbs that would just blast through these short, messy levels. Getting some good fortune with uh, some of these easier levels for Curbs. He's going up 7-5 to five right now. Dance is really going to have to move, but he does know where the goal is, and it looks like he'll be able to make it. Now, yeah, okay, he didn't need P-Speed. That would have been sad if he would have had to get P-Speed before jumping. Dance to get in the clear, 6-7 to seven right now. And Curbs getting the Superstar so he can blast through those Bowsers, but he needs the key that's right up above him. 
Oh, yeah, good strats, actually. Going back and getting another star and clearing out some of those rocky wrenches. You never know what you're going to have to do in a messy level like this. So if you do have the opportunity for a star or um, something like that, a power-up, uh, grab it, take it, use it. Oh, Curbs displaying some really hot platforming skills right now as Dansta skips again, looking for something quick. Curbs with all the power, the spiny showman and the bone bucket right now. He's in a really good spot. But what is coming up? It's the goal. Hey, he got it. No problem. 19 seconds left, and it looks like that's going to be it for Little Curbs winning 8-6. to six, A really solid come from behind. Dansta had it at the start, but Little Curbs got some fortunate quick levels right at the end that put him, put him over. Nice job. So we are going to get ready for match number two now. First win goes to Little Curbs. 15 minutes back on the timer. Clear as many levels as possible. Skip as much as you want. Don't game over or you'll lose points. And make it happen in 15 minutes or less, like a really delicious pizza delivery. Luck can indeed factor in, but I don't think luck alone would win matches. You have to be able to capitalize on luck. Luck is nothing if you can't make the play. And, you know, we've seen we've seen players get, you know, good luck and win with it. And we've seen players get good luck and <laughs> mess it up. So let's see how it goes here. Little Curbs in a 3D World speed run, dance to skips and opts for something else. So Little Curbs wants to do some long jumps here. Going to be long jumping and landing on these one tile gaps. Not that tough. The long jump is a special mechanic in 3D World. Uh, it's new. No other style has it. Little Curbs now with the builder costume. Dance is still trying to figure out what in the heck. Find a good level. Oh, Little Curbs loses his builder, but he's still on the level. Can Is he going to be able to make it? Dance the sad death right at the end. Short level, though. It looks like Dance is going to want to. Yeah, he's going to want to stick with this. It's worth it to lose a few lives, especially if the level is this quick, because picking up a clear right at the beginning. Whoa! Whoa! Now, I didn't... Wow! Okay. I didn't even see what happened there, but Dansta clearly did. They, I thought they were dead. I thought they were going to get crushed by that swamp, smacked by that bonsai bill. But Dansta, Neo in the Matrix, navigating out of there, watching out for all three of those spikes. That was really good. Nice job, Dansta. Coming up one clear to O, one clear to zero, one to O. That's a letter of the alphabet, not a number. Little Curbs doing these long jumps, though. Looks like he wants to stick with this level. Um, it might pay off for him. We'll have to see. Dansta, though, needs to carry a bomb. Oof, Curbs not hitting those switches. That's a, that's a rough spot to be in. You have to get a really accurate jump trajectory. And now Dansta needs to bring this bomb through these doors. This is also a thing from Mario Maker 1. Uh, carrying a bomb through a door will reset the bomb timer. So all these rooms are designed to be just short enough, and the bomb blew up on Dansta right as he was getting in that door. He needed it to open that wall there and get the checkpoint. But that's a it's a cool level. We've seen a lot of these little hot potatoes sort of carry a bomb levels. They're pretty fun. They force you to move quickly, but the rooms are short. Dansta looks like they're going to try that again. And Little Curbs now, fortunate for him, on an on-off speed run. These blocks are switching automatically, and Curbs just needs to kind of figure out the route for this level on the fly. Looks like he's making pretty good moves, but he did slow down just a little bit. Hopefully that won't kill him at the end. Is the timer lenient? It is not that lenient. Curbs will have to try that one again. Dance to carry in the bomb. He's got to be quick on these hooks here. All right, Dance to in the door with the bomb. Now don't blow yourself up, buddy. <laughs> Dance the cosmic brain. Not standing there holding the bomb. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Oh, man. Dansta using bombs really cleverly right now. Yep. Blowing up the path for himself. And Curbs getting his on-off switch level clear. That was good. But looks like Dansta is going to answer right back if he can just avoid that explosion. All right. GG. Dansta with two clears. Curbs with one.
Curbs looks like, oh, this could be, yeah, looks like another on-off speed run. Sort of, at least for a little while. Okay, he needs 32 coins for the clear condition. And, yo, hey, all right. Easy, quick, simple. Curbs is probably really happy about that right now. That uh, it was a really clutch level. Clutch, clutch good luck for Curbs there. But, see, he got the good luck for the short level, but notice he capitalized on it. If he would have died, if he would have messed that up, if he even would have spent a few more lives, it might not have worked out as well for him. So it's not all about luck. You got to be there. Got to be there to get the luck. Dancing now. What does he need? Uh, he can't touch the ground. So he cannot jump. Or if he does jump, he can't land after jumping. So he's going to have to play it carefully. Riding this boo with a cannon on its head all the way up to this pipe. And Curbs having to go through... Ooh, what's this? Teeter-totter needs a key. This is kind of a platforming puzzle level. Uh, Curbs might be looking for some cheese. He's got the key, but there's multiple doors. Hmm. Curbs might be a little bit... He might have broken the sequence on this level just a little bit. Curbs, I'm not sure where he uh, is trying to go, but he definitely wants that mushroom to watch out for the angry sun. And Dance to get in the clear... That is three to two now for Curb, or three to two now for Dansta. Yeah, Curb's kind of breaking the level a little bit, but he's got extra keys and he's moving on. Yeah, there it is. And making the play for Curbs to grab the flagpole at the top to get that extra one up. That'll help him just a little bit. You always want to watch out for your lives. So three to three right now, Dansta trying to maintain that lead, but they're starting their respective levels around the same time. Knowledge. Knowledge of your level in a race like this can really, really be beneficial. Sometimes knowledge is worth more than being in the lead. You know, if you're if you're down by one clear, but you've been two thirds of the way through your level, you might be in a better position than your opponent who is just starting their level. So Dansta needs to do some bomb surfing now and some P jumps. Oh, geez, look out, Dansta! The P switches turned the blocks to coins. Dansta needed to kind of go back where he was and hang out there. Meanwhile, Curbs navigating some boo rings. Bouncing on these piranha plants. This should this shouldn't be too tough for Curbs. He's uh he's pretty well versed in spin jump surfing kind of rides like this. Ooh, nice setup with those thwomps. And yep, Curbs is over the top, getting all the one-ups for the ghosts there as well. That'll put his lives in a really good spot. Now what's Dansta gonna do? He's got one of the P-switches. He doesn't really want to drop them. Oh gosh. Was Dansta trying to grab a P-Switch and do a, a P-Switch jump to a mid-air P-Switch drop jump? It looked like maybe what they were trying to set up, but I don't know. Anyhow, that's a skip. 10-second speed run, though. This could turn it around for Dansta right now. Curbs with four, Dansta with three, but Curbs trying for this next clear. He's got the superstar, and he is moving. But let's see if Dansta can take down this 10-second speed run. He's got... Oh, no! I thought he had it. <laughs> Sorry. Commentator's curse there. Dansta will probably get this though, and he's got to do it soon because Curbs is hot on his tail. Got to be really quick in this one. Dansta can't bonk or do anything weird. He's got it that time. Four to four now. Dansta tying it up. Little Curbs is looking around. What do they want? That's a skip, actually. Hmm, that could really play in Dansta's favor. Little Curbs invested a bit of time in that level and didn't get it. Oh, but look, another superstar run for Curbs. And Dansta going through, checking the world record for that level. Oh no, Curbs, that was not a superstar. Look out. The cool thing about the Superstar in Mario Maker is that it actually increases your base speed. Um, so even if you don't need a Superstar, if you're in a versus situation or a, a match like this on a timed clear, grab a Superstar anyway if you can. Uh, it'll just make you move faster in general. Curb's going back to get a star, but Dansta making his way through that kind of messy new soup level with the propeller suit and getting the clear. So that's five to four now. Dansta coming back. Seen a lot of back and forth between these two racers and Curbs jumping in a pit. Ouch.
Now Dance to check in the timer, time or the world record on that, and he is getting out. Curbs just still needs to navigate. Oh no, what is this for Dancer right now? What is this crazy room? Dancer thinking about skipping, but decides to stick with it. That might be one of those short, crazy levels. If he can just make one or two big moves, he could get it. So Dancer trying to watch out for the garbage, and Curbs getting another one. Five to five right now. There's the clear, yep. Yep, Dancer with that nod, he knows. Dance the nose. That was a short level. Uh-huh. He almost skipped it, but good good to double 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 think that. Double second guess himself there. Six to five now for Dance to moving into new levels for both the racers. What is this? This almost looks like a title screen level for curbs. Oh, do you want those? Oh, man. Yeah, Curbs didn't want to go in that pit. I believe this is a title screen level. Yeah, it's been heavy, it's been modified a bit, but yeah, this is essentially a title screen level. Curbs knows the layout of this. Mario Maker presents you with these pre-made levels on the title screen sometimes, and lots of people take them and rework them, but you can notice certain themes and certain obstacles uh, that tend to kind of repeat themselves. Yep, they just made it harder. And Curbs now, oh no, he's got the mushroom. He's at the goal. But what's he going to do? He's got to get over the munchers. He's got it. And Dance to doing some really good P-Switch jumps. That is a tough move to pull off, but he's making it look easy. Going all the way to the right to grab that key. Oh, he landed to the side of that one. Boy, Dance has got some P-Switch jump skills here for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Dance to making moves. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a, <coughs> a little bit of a frog in my throat today. Dance to though. All eyes on Dance to. He's in there. He's got it. Turned on the blocks below the door and got the key. Now what? Oh no, it's power ups. You know something's about to go down. Which Yoshi? Green Yoshi. That's a good choice. Curbs running. Just running. It's Forrest Gump style. He's just running. He doesn't have the key? What the heck? Where is he supposed to get a key from? Dance to get in the clear, though. Pulling ahead. Six to seven. Curbs skipping. Yeah. Three minutes to go. Dance to wants to increase his lead right now, and Curbs has got to get something quick. There's still time to make plays, but it's got to be it's got to be right now. Now's the time to do it. Yep. Curbs with the traditional Curbs. One look at it and skip. Dance to with a four-minute world record on that level. He's going to skip as well. All right, what's it going to be for Curbs? He needs to be Raccoon Mario at the end here. So this, this kind of sort of reads like a simple, cheesy level. Not a lot going on. Yeah, Curbs is going to try to stay on that blue platform because it's faster than anything else. Otherwise, he'd have to kind of jump this out. Look at that for Curbs, just sticking with that platform. Great skills and maintaining the Raccoon power up. Meanwhile, Dance to... Jumping on, oh man, Dance in a tough spot, but he gets it. Spin jumping on those piranha plants. Now what's he going to do? He's got to fly. Curbs getting that clear, though. 7-7 seven to seven right now. Oh no, Dance to, okay, he wants to go in that pipe. I was thinking maybe he could have flown over that. So there's a checkpoint, and Dance has got the cape. He's in a good spot right now. Curbs is starting a new level. Following those arrows. Who hope they don't lead him astray. That's the worst. Oh, jeez. Oh, he wanted the thwomp. Oh, man. He wanted the thwomp to hit that on-off block down there to open the way for him. Realizing his mistake, Dance takes the death. All right. Curbs navigating this castle, looking for some cheese. Yeah, this seems like kind of a messy level. So hopefully Curbs should be able to find some alternate routes here. These types of levels, this is this is Curb's wheelhouse. He know Cur Curb's is his, Curb's is wheelhouse. He knows how to play these. Dance to riding this slow green block snake. Hope it goes somewhere good. Yeah, this match is getting very close, right down to the wire here. 
if we do have uh, an even number of clears at the end, we're going to go into overtime where the next clear will take it. Oh, no. Dance to take in the wrong door. It sends him back. That is never what you want to see. And Curbs just pathfinding right now. So Dance that has to stay on these block snakes. They're going to take him somewhere good. Hopefully. Oh! Dance should have stayed in the middle. Those block snakes, or the thwomps hit the snake and didn't collapse right into the middle. And Curbs getting the clear on his level, coming up by one. Boy, Dance is in a rough spot right now. Can he clear this level in 30, 30 seconds or so? I don't know. This, yeah, this might be game for Curbs right here. The decision to stick with this slow level, I think, is is, is kind of hurting Dancer right now. Because it's not, yeah, he's. I don't know if he's going to get the clear in 10 seconds. Curbs might pick up another one, though. Yeah, Dancer playing it a little bit safer, but 2, 1, that's it. Time's up. Really good effort from both racers. Uh, really good effort. Dance that almost had it. Could have kept pace with Curbs, but tried to get through that level a little bit too fast. And Curbs, yep, everybody's just working it out. We will have one more match. Uh, first to win three three matches. There's the clear for Dance, the GG. Oh, and Curbs getting crushed. Ouch, never seen that before. We will have one more, though, uh, even though Curbs has won two. The winner will still get points for the third match. So Dancer could still stand to pick up some points here towards his overall standing uh, by getting the win. So we're getting ready for match number three, Little Curbs and Dance. Though. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Thanks for tuning in for GSA Super Mario Maker 2. This is the playoffs, and this is the big one. Uh, I, I am, uh, I, I've, I'm afraid I've given you false information here best of five best of five the uh, format is a little bit different for the playoffs than it was for the regular season this is a best of five match uh points only awarded for winners no points uh no points for losers that's uh unfortunate but that's the way it goes in the playoffs so we got one more curbs needs one more needs to pick up one more match dancer could still clutch out some of these rounds here Yeah, my apologies. Comment commentators curse. I, I don't make the rules. <laughs> but we're getting ready to go. Curbs and Dance are ready up. So Dance still could come back, but is going to need to win, win some matches and force Curbs to a game five. What's it going to be? Dancer needs to not leave the ground. That's going to be tricky. And Curbs, 20 second speed run. I don't believe we're going to play out all five rounds of so I think we need three matches to win it. That That's my understanding of best of five. Dancer with the skip, trying to get something. Curbs making his way through. Ooh, tough, tough kill on the piranha. Yeah, bet first two, first player to three wins on the matches will be the winner. Sorry, guys, I'm still learning the ropes too. It's my first day. All right, Curbs reading this level pretty well. Oh no, do they're gonna have time to make it to the end? That shell has to go and hit the on-off switch. Oh, is it going to make it? Is it going to make it? No! Oh, Curbs did get it. Wow, I really thought he was dead there. GG. That's a win for Curbs and Dance to trying to do the same with another on-off switch level. Everybody loves the on-off switch speedruns. Oh, no. I know. I think that's Dance's... Oh, I see. Dance is using cheese there to get that. He was supposed to throw that shell mitt forward, but instead he just put it on his head. But... It can't prevent you from getting crushed by those ice blocks. A helmet won't stop you from getting trash compacted. 
Rough. Dance to taken a death. That shell shoots out of the cannon and hits that switch on a cycle. It's a way to make the blocks turn on and off automatically. All right, Dance to moving through. He just needs to hit them in the right order, and he's in there. One clear for Dance to, one clear for Curbs. As Curbs getting crushed right at the start by those thwomps. How's he even going to get out of that? Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Oh, wow. how the heck did Curbs do that, actually? I'm really impressed. I, I did not know how he did that, but somehow he got to the left side of the screen and did not get crushed by those thwomps. That was that was great. Curbs obviously a, a supremely talented wizard. Oh no, and what is this messy room? It's the goal room, of course. Curbs making his way to the right, getting that clear. Dance to trying to figure out the route for this level. Looks like kind of a maze, kind of tricking him a little bit. But he's up and to the right, trying to go over those pipes, but to no avail. Dance to just trying now, trying to find the route. No, there's the goal on the right of him, but how's he going to get there? Hey, through the door, no trouble. And Dance to two to two right now, tying it up. Dance to really, really wants this win. Now, Curbs needing to spin jump and ride on this spike top on a line. It'll take him where he needs to go. Oh, look out, Curbs. Those conveyor belts can be rough, spit you in some direction that you don't want to go. Can be really tough on the fly to notice which direction they're moving in. I thought that was a left conveyor. Ah, too late. Curbs trying again, though. Thinks he can beat this level. And Dansa now with another don't leave the ground level. These aren't too tough. They are kind of slow. Oh, no, he walked off the edge, and that broke his clear condition. Oof. Can't do that. That's one thing about these. Uh, some of these clear conditions is it functionally turns the level into a one-hit kill. You're not dead, but if you lose your clear condition, you can't beat the level anyhow. And sometimes it, it's good strategy for these matches to select levels for yourself that are kind of forgiving. Uh, it's, it's very unforgiving to have, you know, don't lose your power up, don't ever touch the ground. So you got to be kind of careful with levels like that. Dance to though, doing fine. Oh man, he needed to get in the door. And there was a pow block there and the thwomp hit it, destroying itself and any chance Dance to had of getting in there. Curbs riding this vine. He needs to get up, break these blocks. He needs to be big Mario. This is the power up check. 18 seconds for Curbs. What's he going to do? He's at the goal, but where the heck is it? Hey, wait a minute. What in the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it was under the P-switch. Nice, Curbs. Nice. Yep. Here. Three to two now for Curbs. And Dance the nose. He needs that door. And he gets it. All right. Tying it up. Three to three. Oh. Trying to be impartial here, of course, but always like to see a good comeback from a player, so let's go, Dance, to get that rally and uh, get a get a game on Curbs. We want to see more of this match here. Curbs with another on-off speed run, though. You can all you can always rely on the on-off speed run, the uh, the slow pitch of Mario Maker. Not even a tight timer here. Curbs is just gonna have to. Oh, geez, read the level and uh, make it happen. Now, Dance, to Dance has a pow block. He's got ten lives. And he sees the goal, but he's got to figure out how to use this pal to move the moles out of the way. And he knows what he's doing. Now, he's just got to get that to work out in his favor. He wants to hold the pow and drop it kind of into the stack of the moles. And what that's going to do is kind of displace them and move them out of position or kill a few. And uh, he just needs to be careful because he only has one pow block. So, yep, he's just dropping that, dropping that pow block and killing those moles. And, or Rocky, I'm sorry, more correctly, Rocky Wrenches. First seen in Super Mario Bros. 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System 
And Curbs, there he is with a clear condition. But time ran out for Dansta before he could get his clear. So Curbs going up four to three. And Dansta needs to drop, kill these Rocky Wrenches even faster than he is. It's 10 seconds. Uh, I think 20 seconds to start for Dansta. Man, that's a rough one. But it's probably a good idea for Dansta to stick on this level. Be you know why? Because it's short. It's quick and it's short. And if he, you know, it's all he's got to do is get this one time. And he has some lives to spare. So he could he could tie it right now. Curbs doesn't really have any progress into a level right now. Dansta may or may not know that. But nonetheless, it, it's, it's probably a good strat to just stick with this for just a little bit and see if he can get the clear. Sometimes these one crazy trick levels can either work it really work in your favor. Come on, get in there, dance the No, oh, he's yeah, he got it. All right. With 2 seconds to go, dance to get in the clear. 4 to 4 tying it up and little curbs bails on a uh, crazy mechanism level that'll have a cannon and a thwomp pushing you kind of like the panga mobiles of old. All right, we got a race going on now. Little Curbs with a 3D world level watching out for these piranha plants. He's got to kill them to get the clear condition. And Dansta needs some P-switches. Oh, Little Curbs getting bopped. He thought he had one more hit on that creeper. Those creepers kind of retract. They sit in the... They grow out and then they retract as you hit them. Dansta trying for some tricky P-switch jumps. We've seen that this is sort of their specialty. Dance is pretty good, using using P-Switch jumps to good effect, but is it going to work out for him here? He sees that goal again. Now, this is a tricky situation. Dansta has two lives remaining. Oh, what a clear! Gosh, that was great! Nice work, Dansta, bringing that switch and getting an extra P-Switch jump to get right in that, that gap. That was huge for Dansta. Not only does he take the lead... But he gets out of that level, and hopefully he'll be able to pick up something that'll get him some lives. Because if he were to game over, he would lose one of his clears. So Dansta has to be really careful right now. The run won't end. He'll get to try some more for the remaining time. But he will lose a clear, putting the putting it back to back to uh, four to four. Curbs has seen the end of his level, and he knows how to kill the piranha creepers. He just has to be careful with the bounces because sometimes like they they stay on screen right before they die and it looks like you might get another bounce but actually you're in fact dead so curbs being really careful right now as he tries to eliminate the remaining creepers oh he thought no it can be so tricky to tell like i said curbs thought he had it he went for the goal but he needed one more hit now this is pretty good for dancer right now very slow but he uh, he has a shot to not die. Uh, please don't die. Dan Dance to Dance to come on. Watch out, buddy. Oh, geez. Going for that other Yoshi. So he wants to spit stuff into Bowser, fire or shells or whatever he can get. And he doesn't have a damage boost, so he needs to keep these Yoshis around. And he needs the key from Bowser, so he's got to defeat this. Fairly safe. If he can just kind of hang on. This is pretty good for Dancer right now because he doesn't want to lose lives. Well, I thought Bowser was dead, but no, he was just doing a jump. And Curbs getting the clear on his level, finally. So Curbs tying it up 5-5 five to five with four and a half minutes to go. And Dansta in a tricky spot. Look out. Don't. Ooh, Dansta. Every time you lose Yoshi, you get iframes. And that's how Dansta managed to stay alive through that. Uh, very, very beneficial to have a Yoshi because it's just a constant source of iframes. Getting getting a good reward for that, for his skill. Dansta still maintaining that lead. Six to five right now. Curbs going through a tricky kind of sort of a speedrun-esque sort of level, dodging a bunch of platforms and grinders inside this castle. Kind of like this level. And the Thwomp Chase now. Look out, Curbs. He's got the win, though. Man, Curbs putting the pressure on Dansta. Six to six now with three... 3.45 left to go. Anybody's game right now. Assassin's Creed bros for Dansta. <laughs> A two-minute world record, though. He chooses to skip.
Dance is in a rough spot right now with only three lives. Uh, that may be impacting his decisions to skip a little bit. But Curb's not really being able to hook up with a level he likes right now. So it's still, it could be anybody's game. Curbs is in a little bit better position, but Dance to, has a shot. All right, another don't touch the ground level for Dance to. This could be slow. So hopefully he can pull it out because these, these levels tend to be very slow and careful. Got to be very deliberate with your movement. Oh, and he bounces. Yep. Yep, he fought, he touched the note block on the ground and he bounced. Curbs, what the heck is this going on? Getting through, opening that on-off block, but what in the world's he trying to do? <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, look out, Curbs. Oh, no. Getting tagged by those fire bars right below the floor. Still anybody's match right now, tied up with two minutes to go. Both players trying to find a level. Curbs has a little bit more leniency than Dancer, though, because he's got extra lives. Notice how the lives really come into play here, making forcing Dancer to be a little bit more careful. And so that technically means that Curbs is in a slightly better position right now. But this could be a good one for Dancer. This could be a good one. Yep, there it is. Hoping he could have picked up some lives from all those bounce combos on the Goombas, but getting the clear, that's going to be huge. And the world record, hey, for some extra swag. For some extra swag. Dance them moving up. Six to seven right now. Curbs, though, knows the flow of this level. He's just got to put the movement together. Oof. Dance to choosing to play it safe above that pit. Curbs on a good swing. Six seconds for Curbs. He ties it up. Seven to seven right now with 50 seconds to go. Boy, if Dance to could get this clear right now, he would probably be able to win it. Oh, he didn't get the Yoshi, though. Is that going to hurt him? No. He gets to try again. He needs the Yoshi at the end of this. Boy, here it is. If Dansa can get this right now, he just... Oh, he sees it. This is it. Okay. This is really tricky. Dansa's got 20 seconds to make this happen. If he dies, that's, he's in trouble. He's got the Yoshi. Now what's he going to do? He's up and over. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And Dansta is going to take that level and get lives. What an amazing job hanging on with only three lives to go. He made good decisions about what to play and what not to play. And he had good moves when it counted. And that really paid off for him because he's going to take the win in this round and force another match with Little Curbs coming up. Dansta takes round three. Keeping Little Curbs from, from getting the sweep victory that was a very very good match nice plays and really good job from dancer right at the end so we're getting ready for another match now if dancer can win this one he's going to force a game five for the overall win of the match but little curbs only needs to win one one uh, round overall so 15 minutes again on the clock get as many clears as you can skip as many levels as you want and don't game over because you will lose a clear from your total. That's my recap of the rules. It is a best of five. First player to win three rounds will be the victor. Even if their name isn't victor. So here we go, round number four. Curbs is running, Dance to skipping. Oh, that is lucky for Curbs. Curbs is a lucky, lucky fellow. Getting a very short level and some one-ups to go along with it right at the end. That is really helpful. That might be one of the fastest clears that I've seen. Getting a clear inside the first minute is really big. 
Dance to looking to answer back right now. But what the heck is this level? That I would skip that too, Dance to. Swamp Caverns for Dansta and a big old mess for Curbs. Where's he going? Ooh, Dansta going quick. Watching out for those Thwomps. Yeah, he's got to move. He knows. He knows he needs to run. Jeez, what is this level Curbs is on here? Checkpoint for Dansta. That's going to be big. Yeah, that's going to be big. It's not always a race to find the easiest levels. It's really a race to find levels that fit with your style. That, you know, everybody, everybody's definition of the easiest level is, is different, right? So, you know, some people might be better at this or that or the other thing. And uh, it's, it's kind of a question of, do I commit to a level? If I do, could I beat it? And if I could beat it, could I beat it quickly? And those are the important questions you're asking yourself while you're making your way through these matches. Curbs now, trying to survive, but Dansta answering back with a clear of his own. Look out, Curbs. Oh my gosh, that dodge from the fire, though. Curbs was pixels away from death and managed to survive and avoid that Bowser fire. He sees the goal now, but can he just squeeze himself in there? He's got it. Curbs. Curbs up two clears. Dansta with one. Like we said before, the, the, we really, it's about capitalizing on luck. Luck isn't going to do you any good if you don't know what to do with it. You get a lucky level that's really short or really quick, but you can't play it, hey, you're out. And I know I myself have lost some rounds because I got an easy level, short level, but I just couldn't, couldn't get it in time. So it's, yes, it is luck, but luck without skill is luck wasted. Know what I'm saying? Now it looks like uh, it looks like Dance is getting a lot of keys here, and if I recall correctly, the level title told him to avoid those, so that might be bad. He might not want to get keys at all. This is a strange one for Dance. I'm not sure where he's going. Curbs, trying to navigate. What does he need here? He needs coins. Coins are the clear condition. So Curbs is one coin short right now. They always do this. They always make it be like get this many coins, and then they hide. The final one somewhere. So hopefully Curbs can find it quickly. But I don't know. Oh no, Dansta. Yeah, Dansta going to skip that level. Yeah, he needed to not get any of the keys. He wasted a little bit of time running ahead and seeing. Sometimes in a level like that, it can be worth it to run all the way to the end. Even though you know you're probably dead in the water. DOA, as it were. Um... It might be to your benefit to run to the end and maybe just see. Like, for example, if it's a don't lose your power up type of level, eh, you know, maybe there might have hit one right at the end just as a fake out. You never know. Little Curbs now stuck in this auto scroller, but making good moves and reading the level on the fly very quickly. A good blind read is essential. Uh, how quickly can a player look? Just look at the level and see what they have to do and may and then execute that correctly. Curbs opting to go under those uh, chain chomps. That was a risky move, but trust that he knows what he's doing. Those bullets are catching up. Curbs is really going to have to move here. He gets it. Now, can he stay alive? Trick or treat for Dansta. Is this going to be a Picador level? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, Curbs. What a play. What a play. That section was designed to troll you. Only the top section was free, but Curbs killing <laughs> that bonsai bill in that tight area. What a play from Curbs. That was an, that was an excellent move saving himself and getting the clear to go up three to one against Dansta. That was clutch. What the heck for Dansta? Those those uh, those bullet bill blasters. This looks like a glitch level. Those bullet bill blasters just took a mystical journey up into the sky. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, this is some kind of strange glitch setup. It looks like Dansta wants to be standing on those blasters and take that mystical journey with them take me back to your home planet earth is dumb dance to getting the kill getting killed though by the bullet from that blaster and curbs making his way to the goal hey all right what 
<laughs> Dan's to getting pulled up into the sky, and he's gone. Oh, no. And Curb's getting another clear. It's looking grim for Dansta right now. Curb's up by three, four to one. And Dansta just going back to his home planet. Okay, now Dansta needs to damage boost. Lose the, sh lose the helmet on this grinder to get through. I'm not entirely sure how to do this. So we'll all learn together. Curbs needs, yeah, he's got a shelmet and he's got a bone bowl, a bone bucket, a bone boat, whatever you want to call it. That will let him swim through lava and it will also uh, let him collapse like he just did up there and be invulnerable. Nothing can hurt him while he is the dry bones form. So picking up a, uh, a fire flower as well, that'll give him a little bit of safety. Loses the bone bowl, but he still has the helmet and the fire flower. Power is always essential. That you know, aside from just what the particular power up allows you to do, it functions as a damage boost, and damage boosts are super valuable. Perhaps he does want to take damage on the muncher, but how? Yeah, maybe he does. He could he could get himself through the note block and take damage on the muncher, but yeah, that's a skip for Dance. A rough call because the goal was right there, but how in the heck do you get through that grinder? Normally, the helmets that you wear make you bonk off grinders like that. So that was what was causing him some trouble there. Curb's getting another clear, though. Looking rough. Danced is going to need some quick, quick, easier levels. A five-minute world record? Yeah, that's a skip for Danced. Though. Well, Dance is still trying it out. Got to give him, got to give him credit for, uh, for for trying, trying his best. Even when things look grim, got to keep going. Cause who knows? Anything could happen in Super Mario Maker. Dance them moving through this on-off section, throwing the shells at the right time. He understands the the way this level should be played. And now Curbs looking for some cheese, maybe that on-off switch. He sees that the goal is right down below him. He also sees that he could turn those bricks to coins with the P-Switch. But, uh, how? Oh, Dance to throw in the shell, but he didn't get it. Curb's thinking, yeah, thinking about some cheese or... I don't know. He doesn't want to go in that door yet, because if he did, he would die. Oh, and he got it. He picked the right box. Just a silly pick a box, pick a path for Curbs. Picking up a one up from there. That's six to one. Curbs running away with it right now. Looks like uh, looks like we might we might see a Curbs victory here. I don't know. But let's not give up hope. Let's not give up hope. Dance the doesn't want to throw it on the switches on the right. He wants to go underneath there. See where those blue dotted line blocks are? Oh, trying for a shell jump. That's a that's a tricky maneuver. But I'm not sure if he sees the... Okay, he does. He sees the path. Very good. Oh! Oh, getting the double hit from those on-offs. Watch out, Dansta. And getting in the pipe. All right. Curbs with a don't-touch-the-ground level. I'd skip that, too. Yeah, that is definitely something important. You know, being able to read a level, like I said, and being able to see the screen and look at it and figure out what you got to do. But also to kind of get into the mind of the creator... And if you play a lot of Mario Maker levels, you tend to notice certain patterns, certain things that lots of creators tend to do. And look at that, Curbs, making his way through that crazy, crazy level, taking a little capture of that one, too. That was, uh, that was crazy, but he knew how to read that, and he has a lot of experience with Mario Maker. So, yeah, sometimes that can really help out. Curbs kind of running away with this. I, I, I hate to say it's a foregone conclusion at this point, but we're going to play the rest of the match out and still still be rooting for Dance to get some good moves here. That may have been an auto level, yeah. Now, what in the heck? Curbs does not want to touch the Fire Flowers, apparently. Probably wants to be Small Mario at the end. Yeah, no power-ups. Needs Small Mario at the end. But Curbs is taking that spring because who knows? It could help him cheese something. 
That's pretty good strats and form uh, for any Mario Maker level, anything like that. If you have a shell or a spring or a P-switch or whatever, bring it. You never know. You never know when it might come in handy. And it costs very little to just take it along. Curb's waiting for that on-off switch. And uh, Dansta looks like he's stuck in a troll version of 1-1. Oh, no. Getting trapped by the Kaizo blocks and everything. Ouch. Yeah. Top 10 things you hate to see. As Curbs comes away with another one. Yeah, this is like 1-1, but it's troll heaven, kind of. Vine line for little Curbs. He's got 19 lives, too. Oh, Dance, don't go back down there. Oh, he's... Oh, no! No, no, no! Oh, I thought Danza was going to try to jump in that pit again, but he was trying to go up and over, and he thought he had it, but unfortunately the Maker had other plans for him. What a rough level, man. You got to watch out on troll levels. Man, if they trick you once, they're going to trick you again. Once a trickster, always a trickster. That's the thing, being able to get into the mind of these level designers and figure out where the tricks are likely to be. Who's, who's going to get trolled and when? But Danza thinks he can hang on. Now, Little Curb's going through uh, some kind of speedrun thing. What the heck? Yeah, Dance Day anticipating more blocks. And he's got it. So there's the clear. Two to eight now for Dance Day as Curb's skips his weird speedrun thing. Two and a half minutes to go, roughly. And it looks like Curb's is going to take this. A big deficit for Dance Day to make up. But uh, still going to play the rest of it out. And wow, I've never seen this before, but Dansa getting 10 five-second levels in a row. What luck. Oh, wow. <laughs> Curb's playing it safe. He's not sure where he's headed. Not into that dead end, though. Maybe going to take the thwomps up. Yep. Ooh, Dansa with a checkpoint, but a death. Curbs with the big YOLO jump doesn't get him anywhere. Sad. <laughs> gotcha, chat. <laughs> Dance is still trying, though. Keeping that Galoomba with him. Goombrat, whatever that thing's name is. It's a weapon, can be used to clear the way, hit boxes, who knows. Always bring a weapon. Oh no, dance the right in the pit as Curbs. Oh, I see what Curbs needs to do here. He's gotta keep this Koopa alive. Now that's, that's gonna be tricky. But he's doing all right with it. Curb's just running to the end? Wait a minute. Yeah, it looks like he kind of thought had a different thought about that level. Chooses to skip. But yeah, we've got kind of a blowout here. 20 seconds to go. Looks like Curb's is going to be taking it. Really great luck. Great capitalization on that luck from Curb's. Good plays from Dance to 2. Trying, trying his best. Got to give credit for that. And there it is, 2-1-0, we are done. GG Little Curbs taking the win, but Dansta getting one round as well, and Curbs with a massive 8-2 at the end as Dansta clears. Thank you for having me. I have been GlitchCat7. I really enjoy doing these, but unfortunately, I have to run for right now. We will be having more matches coming up with the playoffs. There's lots more fun action, so keep, it, keep your television dials tuned here to GSA for the Super Mario Maker 2 Endless Playoffs. And good luck to all the rest of the racers.